I'm going to put this up. This is a third tape. This is today. And I can't hear hardly of things. It, and it's been going on. It's gotten worse. The bacterial infection was never fixed. That's a year and a half ago, ongoing. I got bladder infection. And now then, um, <laughs> it, it's gotten so ludicrous uh, that my primary care, first of all, they're trying to shut it up. And um, <laughs> I was told I could be wearing my bladder outside me, uh, you know. And then I try to do the right thing and get to a doctor. And then <laughs> my doctors talk to. And um, suddenly when I go back to see them the other day, um, total different thing only I've got the medicine where it was prescribed and everything and it was prescribed right but nobody wants to be sued for black mold and mildew and da 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 and all this come to light that I've just told you about part of it so now that I'm sitting here and I wonder if I'm going to live through this this morning I went to made an appointment because I can't hear and um, can't see it's gotten worse. I went back to her and I saw her because I, I had gotten hits. I didn't remember, though, till she said something really bad by branch in this eye some years ago. And yes, I went to a doctor with it. Nothing they could do. So it gets worse, evidently, degenerates or something. Anyway, I went to her last fall. And I was thinking about getting, um, I know I've got um, cataracts. So she checked me out for that, and I have pretty good insurance now. And I was going to go have it done, but she said it wouldn't help with this one, but it would with this one. Well, I, I used to work for an ophthalmologist. I worked for doctors, but I worked for an ophthalmologist for a while, years ago. Uh, a good while back in Huntsville. So I'm not totally dumb to what goes on. That's what I did. I was receptionist bookkeeper uh, and even at Urban Medical Hospital there. So I'm not a fool here. I wrote a book and my God, <laughs> they've gotten away with all this crap. Now, where am I now if I live to get out of here? 80 years old. My kids, just my mom and dad and Anyway, I go to her this morning, and um, it's early. I call, and right away I got an appointment. Somebody had canceled. So then I call to schedule, and then I got I get this blessed out by LOA. That's League of Older Americans. There's a whole story. People are afraid of it. They do what they're told. The people orchestrating all this get stuff on people and they'll get them to help or hurt. Now, that's your law enforcement way up. And some of them have saved my life, but this gets into one whole hell of a mess. The Brits are the ones that saved my life. But these gave me the letter from the FBI. I'll go ahead and say it. Back in 79, and I thought it was because of the book MD a License to Kill that I had written about with Larry McDonald, U.S. congressman, who was supposed to have gone down in the KAL from Juneau, Alaska to Seoul, South Korea. And all those people died and drowned, 296 or 86 drowned. But prior to takeoff, Richard Nixon was taken off the plane and Geraldo went off the plane and um, not just me saying this, they took Larry McDonald off. They made it, a, took the whole friggin' plane down to make it appear they took him down. I got in that campaign and was flown out to uh, Larry Flint's, who'd been shot by a program shooter, which is what I was writing about, mind control, the Tesla files, where you can cure an illness or create it, and it got into a lot of stuff there. So I've paid the price for telling the truth. This morning, I went back to her. It was early. I had to get up, and I ate a bite of breakfast. And by the way, I made it to her office, and about the time I was ready to leave, because it didn't take long, I had I didn't make it to the bathroom. It was all over me. 
So I don't know what I ate at breakfast. I ate the same thing every day. So, you know, I'm just throwing that in. So now then, um, when I go in this morning, it was at 8 o'clock. So I left here about eight uh, 7.30 on the cab. I'm not going to go into what happened there either. I mean, you, this is tied up. And um, I'm in pretty bad shape. They can get to anybody, but anybody's glad to do it because I'm considered an outsider. Yeah, my mom was born here, but, uh, yeah, we care about that. They care about it. I'm British. They did it. So, hey, we beat you in the and kicked your ass out in 1776. And, yeah, we kidnap you and bring you back here. And what are you going to do about it? That's the attitude. So I went back to her office, went in, and uh, I told them, and I had explained again, this is back to where there was no misunderstanding about a, at my primary care a month ago, going on a month ago now, that that was six months checkup. It turned into a fiasco. And you got the whole people that work there knew it then. Uh, I mean, there's more that I haven't told that's so ludicrous. No blood work was done, which was why I went. I even asked my primary care doctor, I said, you're not going to do blood work? That's what I went for. And she said, no, and to follow up on the pills that have been given to me by urgent care, antibacterial, and because of my bladder. And now then, she's telling me I brought the pills because I couldn't take them. Uh, they had bad side effects. One was to kill, could kill you. And I said, I was trying to do what I always do, make sure you understand. I didn't take them. I couldn't. You're supposed to follow up. So this doctor said, and I trust him. I think they got him, got to him, is exactly what they did. And well, how else could it have happened? And you can't tell all of it. I've tried to. Okay. Anyway, I'm tying that to this because it was a lot happened, and I left, and I got a receipt when I paid the $15 toward my bill, which I don't really have, uh, but I paid it, and it had that I had come for hemorrhoids, which was a total blatant friggin' lie. This is a joke to all of them. If they can do this to an 80-year-old woman, run me up on the mountain, make me live and starve and freeze and beg and my legs almost freeze, and uh, God help me for all that's happened. And I've been here since 86. They build homes for the homeless, and they give all this food out, and they've watched me starve and freeze. And my money was brought over here when I was kidnapped. And uh, they've made me live like the friggin' pauper that has nothing. Now then, I go to the doctor this morning, and she's right there. I can look at the office of the urgent care that I'm talking about. I went three times because I couldn't get to my doctor and uh, got them on a Saturday. So I can see their office, the one I'm talking about, that prescribed the antibiotic for the bladder and all this uh, that she's saying. Oh, well, I, she talked to him, and he said, I didn't really didn't need, duh. Um, so she got to him, and she got to my gynecologist, and I've tried to show you the connection, too. So here <laughs> so here I am this morning. I go over there. There's no, this is the point. There's no misunderstanding there, either. When I called in, I was shocked that I could get in. I just called her the day before yesterday. And everybody else in town's booked and blah, blah, blah. And I had seen her, so I called and got the appointment this morning. That was day before yesterday I called. It was early, but I got there, and it was no misunderstanding. It was to see, get a full examination, eye examination. She's the ophthalmologist, and um, I wanted to get glasses, too, because I didn't want to get the... Um, have the operation to get the uh, um, cataracts off my eye. That was last fall when I'd seen her. I'd seen her the one time, and she did a test now, or my eyes looked at it. 
and suggested I get it, and I decided not to. And remember here, I've worked for an ophthalmologist. I worked for doctors. That's what I did. So um, it might have been just bookkeeping and um, uh, receptionist and secretary, but that's what I did. I worked for Urban Medical back there, putting stuff up on the computer and all this, and I couldn't believe it. I went back, and they are now real big time after all these years into cancer research. This is what I was writing about doctors and the uh, Tesla files. You can cure an illness or create it. They stole the files in 1930. That was just part of them. And Donald Trump's uncle, John George Trump, was MIT grad. He was part of who was supposed to have the stolen files. The Illuminati had the stolen files, and so did the FBI, and I've put that up here. So now then, I go there this morning because I I can't see. I need glasses to at least help me see, but I don't want to get the cataract uh, done. I mean, if I lose this eye, this one's not working, or I got hit by limbs. So I go in. There's no misunderstanding about it. My insurance will pay it. It's. Uh, I even asked her if I owed from that last one I did, $15. I managed to pay her this morning when I went in. And there's no misunderstanding about my insurance does pay it. It's a, exam, a medical exam for your eyes, and they uh, have always included, uh, if I need it, when I got it, an eye exam. That's the whole thing. They give you the put the drops in you and do all of it. Well, when I went in this morning at 8 o'clock, got there, and uh, the technician, I guess, took me back, and she put me, uh, all that she did was she put me up next to the my nose there and looked and, um, to a thing up there on the wall and told me to read it, and I could read maybe four lines down, and it was blurred. So there were four times she showed me different. That was it, just the little lines. Really nothing, no drops in my eyes at all. The doctor comes in. She does the same thing. This is the doctor I'd seen suggested the um, cataract surgery. And um, she did the same thing. The, 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 her, her uh, what is she th <laughs> that works for had done? Nothing else, no drops in the eyes, no uh, uh, dilating the eye, no nothing. That was it. Absolutely it. Put my nose there, that was it. And here's what she said to me. She said, well, I think you should know your decision making. And I thought, well, oh, this is uh, going somewhere. This is getting involved in all this other, I just told you all if it gets up, the three this is where this is going. Remember, she's right across the hall from urgent care where my doctor got to and the people behind her that I've told you about that took me off over and abducted me April the, uh, May the 6th of uh, 2013 and the YouTube was stolen and Channel 10's guy that was telling about it was accused of rape and would have gone to prison, except it was finally withdrawn, but he's gone from Channel 7. And they're not going to tell any of this. I was told that years ago before, I'm talking about all this, the mind control, and about me and my kidnapping, who I am. And none of them are. But anyway, uh, let me see, this morning, I was kind of shocked. I mean, <laughs> nothing. And they said something about when I went in, well, your insurance aren't, uh, is not going to pay for it. And I examined, I said, well, they do. I'm, uh, I came in here. I didn't know where they were getting with it. These people, when I made the appointment, I made it, told them. Then my insurance paid for it. I wanted the total eye exam, which include, uh, total medical eye exam, which include, there was no misunderstanding. I've had this done in the past too many times over the many years, so I know. So they deliberately did what um, my primary care did, walk in there, and suddenly they got me for hemorrhoids when it was for the six months checkup, which were, would require blood, and she should have done a urine analysis. If you can get back to it, it was 
also about the pills that had been given me for bladder, bacterial bladder infection. And I couldn't take them in urgent care, which is across from the eye doctor I'm, I saw this morning and a couple of few months back. Um, I can sit in her office and look across the hallway right at the urgent care where I, this happened. Uh, they gave me the right medicine. They did for the bladder infection, and uh, I don't like. Pe I guess people like to get sued for having mold and mildew and all this stuff going on, and doctors get involved in the mess. And um, I guess I'm gonna leave it here. I walked out the door. Well, I didn't walk. I had breakfast this morning. I know what somebody will make out of that. I have breakfast here for the last going on two years. And um, I don't know, I ate the same thing every day. I got to her office, and about the time she completed her, <laughs> I don't know what you call it. I mean, you know, there, no dilating my eye. Same thing her um, helper had done. I just put the thing up, and I put my nose on it, no dilating, no squat, and told me to read it four lines up there, which I couldn't do, so the doctor comes in, does the same thing, the one that was going to do the uh, cataracts last fall. Then she's telling me, the doctor, that I should watch about my, what was it she said about my decision making? And I thought, oh boy, this is where this is going. I've gone through all this, and now then they're going to try to say, get me by my decision making. I'm going to tell you here and now, I made the right decisions. I have put all this up because the law didn't work for me. And it is so hard to believe that people have sit by and watch me being destroyed and would never stop until I'm dead and gone. There's nothing wrong with my decision making. If God ever steps in and it would take him, it's going to be your decision making that's... Uh, if there's any justice in it.